Okay, another day, another package. So let's see what we got in here. I just started opening this and that on camera and then realized my address was showing, so... Anyway, this is another package from Brandon, so let's see what's inside. Set this up so well, the only way I can open these is actually just cut, literally cut them open. Let's see what we got in here. I can see something that looks like a liquid microphone or something. Ah, so what have we got? discard of that. My camera does not really like this black background so I'm going to have to do something about that in my future videos. Got a few bits and pieces in here. Of course, got to make sure showing it in the camera because I'm always sort of holding things here or here or there or there not realizing that they're not in the camera shot. Nope. Can I not get that off? I'm going to have to cut it. Alright, so let's see what we've got in here. Let me just get a little box to put them in. Um, let's see, all my boxes in my uh, thing are full. I'll just have to spill them out onto the bed. I'll clear it up later. Some breadboard connection wires, a little electric microphone, and of course, I didn't realize that the camera wasn't seeing it. There we go. Connector, a switch, a few screws, a knob, a LED. voltage regulator yeah, and that's about it for now and here are three more so let's see what's inside which one shall we start with the green one and I'm keeping an eye on the viewfinder well on the camera's view on the laptop Excuse the state of my bed. That was that chicken tikka pastry I had. Anyway, we have... an electronics testing pen. So, let's see. Got my homemade amplifier all opened up here because I was actually working on this earlier. Let's test around the mains area, see if it beeps or lights up or anything. Okay, we definitely have power. Okay, so let's have a look at what's in this one, and then we'll do that one there. It's got a big lump in the middle, I'm curious about what that is. into anything. I think I did cut a little component leg there, but I don't think I caused any damage. We have the canon focus. <clears throat> More capacitors and resistors. I better just get my box of stuff. Better get one of my really useful boxes. Um, various bits and pieces in here, so I'll didn't realize that the address side of this was facing the camera. I might have to um, blank that out or something if the camera see if it's if it's at all eligible. If it's at all legible. Um, and the sender's address was visible as well. Oh, there's one making a bid for freedom. Well, I don't think I'm going to have a shortage of components for a while. That's for sure. A 
have to sort that out later. And finally, let's see what's in here. We have a... Can't even get it out. Something. I can see a tuning capacitor in there, so it's obviously some kind of radio device. Ah, I see why we can't get this out. Because this bit's been stuck onto there. we go. An earpiece, I don't know if that's a piezoelectric one or if it's a magnetic one, and a tuning capacitor. Can make a crystal radio out of that. Got the diodes and a few coils somewhere, so yeah, could try that out later. So yeah, thanks for all that stuff, and anyway, I've got some other things to get on with now, so see you next time, so until next time, goodbye. Okay, just testing, we got sound. My voice is going like this for some reason.